rivalries in MotoGP have come to define generations. Like gladiators, these superhumans do battle on the world's grandest stage, where the stakes are high, the rush of competition rages like the fire inside, all for that desire, that dream of becoming world champion. There's no wonder that goal has created some of the most intense rivalries and with that, some of the most iconic moments in the sport's history. Marquez hounding and harassing Andrea Di Vizioso through his two favourite left-handers. He's going for it at turn seven. He's tight, but he's made the move. Stick Marquez leads. The most harmonious rivalry on our list is our most recent. Marc Marquez and Andrea Di Vizioso are best remembered for their now iconic last lap battles. And because of this, they have earned a place on our list. From 2017 to 2019, they came to blows on six occasions on the last corner with the videos of coming out on top in five of those, while Mark would only get the upper hand at the 2018 Thai GP. But it was the Spaniard that reigned supreme beating the Vizioso to the title in those seasons, including wrapping up his fifth title at a showdown in Valencia. But all good things must come to an end, and Austria 2019 was the last time we got to witness these two warriors cross swords, but it's a rivalry that lives fondly in the minds of the fans, as Mark Marquez and Andrea de Vizioso came to define that era of MotoGP. When Phil Reed burst onto the scene, Giacomo Agostini was an established star, a multiple world champion and the greatest the sport had ever seen. But this didn't deter the plucky Brit. Reed joined Agostini at MV Augusta in 1973 and ready to win his first 500cc crown. The pair enjoyed success winning seven races between them, but it was Reed that took top honours and his maiden 500cc title. At the end of the year and after nine seasons with the Italian factory, Ago packed his bags and went to Yamaha. Reed and Agostini would win the next two titles between them. The pair were great rivals on track and they used the press to gain the advantage over the other. But once they hung up their helmet, Reed and Agostini became firm friends. Roberts vs Sheen was the Battle of the Atlantics. Kenny Roberts entered the World Championship in 1978 as a national AMA and dirt track champion and he was ready to take on the very best and at that time it was Barry Sheen after wrapping up back-to-back -back titles. Battling throughout 1978 for title glory, it would be Roberts that came out on top by only 10 points. However, it was the following year when the pair made history. The 1979 British GP is iconic for multiple overtakes, but the race is perhaps more famous for the V-sign Sheen gave to Roberts as they both exited Cop's corner. The pair would briefly fight for the title again in 1982 before Sheen's disastrous crash at Silverstone in testing and with that brought an end to one of the fiercest on-track rivalries we've ever seen. 1965, Envy Augusta brought the 22-year-old Italian Giacomo Agostini into the factory to partner the great Mike the Bike Hillwood, who had just come off a hat-trick of 500cc titles. However, Hillwood would prevail over his young teammate by 18 points, but the Brit knew the writing was on the wall and Envy Augusta wanted to make the young Ago the number one rider for 1966, so Hillwood left for Honda. The next two seasons was the Hillwood Ago Show, as both fought for the Premier Class title and their on-track battles are still talked about to this day, especially the 1967 Isle of Man TT. Both produced a masterclass, riding between genius and chaos over the iconic 60km course, breaking the lap record lap after lap until Agostini's chain came off, bringing a premature end to a truly epic duel. The rivalry would end in the most spectacular way, as both finished the season on 46 points, but it would be Agostini that claimed his third title on countback due to more second place finishes, and with that, Mike Hillwood retired from Grand Prix motorcycle racing. Valentino Rossi has taken the lead here in front of 92,000 passionate fans. Lorenzo fights back, they almost touch. The word mate and teammate was completely thrown out of the window when the new kid on the block, Jorge Lorenzo, joined Yamaha in 2008 and was ready to establish himself over Valentino Rossi in the same team. A wall was set up in the garage as Rossi was running Bridgestone tyres and Lorenzo Michelin, but once Bridgestone became the sole tyre supplier, the wall stood tall between the two. 
After back-to-back -back titles in 2008 and 2009 for Rossi, Lorenzo clicked into another gear, and Rossi, trying to keep his young teammate at bay, made an uncharacteristic mistake at Mugello during practice that put him out for four rounds. Leaving Lorenzo clear to charge the title, We are the number one. Thank you. With Rossi moving on to pastures new at Ducati. After two tough seasons, Rossi was back in Yamaha Blue as Lorenzo's peer, and this time, there was no wall. The relationship was acrimonious until 2015. Locked in a ferocious title battle, the pair would not see eye to eye, but it would be Lorenzo that prevailed by five points in the end. The fallout was huge. Lorenzo felt he was no longer loved by the Hamamatsu factory, and like Rossi did six years before, moved to Ducati for 2017, but before then, he had one last spat. This time, it was at Mizano in 2016. Is his style, other riders overtake more clean, and I have to just... It's true. So, yeah, it's true. It's not true. It's true. It's true. <laughs> you know? Try to uh, look another time the overtake at the television. Don't laugh, respect my opinion. This is my opinion. Race direction will have another I opinion. I check the image. I didn't check the image. I will see. But for me, if I, if I don't put it straight the bike, I crash. I'm not agree. Unlike some of the rivalries on this list, the pair's fiery relationship became a lot less heated in the following years. Rivals are usually born with one rider an established superstar and the other an up-and-coming youngster. With Kenny Roberts versus Freddie Spencer, it is a perfect case in point. In 1983, King Kenny on the Yamaha was chasing his fourth 500cc title and the quick upstart Fast Freddie on the Honda his first. Swapping race wins throughout the season, the pair would come to blows in a last lap duel at Anderstorp in Sweden, both coming together and running off the track, but it would be Spencer that would take victory from Roberts. Spencer would go on to win his maiden title at the final round in Imola, taking it by two points over Roberts as the Californian took the victory and bowed out of Grand Prix racing. Looking for the inside line here on the hairpin. Oh, he's hit the back end of Dylan. They both crashed. <laughs> Dune versus Crevier defined the 90s in MotoGP. From 1994 to 1999, they were the two biggest profiles in 500cc and racing for the iconic Repsol Honda. Tensions between the two would hit fever pitch in 1996, after Mick Dune had already wrapped up his third title when the paddock rolled up to the season finale at Eastern Creek in Australia. The perfect place for Dune to celebrate his title with his home fans, but Crevier had other ideas. Their battle on track was ferocious, passing and repassing at any chance they could, but it would be on the final lap of the season that the fight hit boiling point. Crevier and Dune were down, and it didn't stop there, as both shared a few choice words back in the garage when they both got back to the pits. I was on the inside. You know what racing is? I was on the inside. It's fair to say Dune versus Crevier kept all eyes glued to the TV screens through the mid to late 1990s as both battled for supremacy. And Rossi runs wide. Did he get a nerd there from Max Biaggi? Valentino Rossi's first rivalry is also one of his greatest. Max Biaggi was already a superstar in Italy, having won two 250cc titles when Rossi burst onto the scene in 1996 and won two fives. But it wasn't long before the two were fighting over the limelight, even before they met on track. However, the Italian duo would scrap it out for the 2001 championship and the last 500cc crown. Doctor would eventually go on to win the title before going on a run of five straight consecutive championships. As Rossi rose to the stratosphere in MotoGP, Biaggi would call time on his MotoGP career before moving to World Superbikes. Schwantz is right on Wayne Rainey's tail as they run down the hill towards the checkered flag. It's Kevin Schwantz behind Wayne Rainey. Rainey versus Schwantz, California versus Texas, and Yamaha versus Suzuki in the great all American duel. It's well known that both didn't have much time for each other as they competed at the highest level of motorcycle racing. They were both very different in their personalities, with Rainey being cool, calm and calculated, while Schwantz was a more outgoing and flamboyant character, which was also represented in their riding styles. The Americans clashed on track and fought for victories on numerous occasions throughout the late 80s and early 1990s. But it was Rainey that triumphed, winning three consecutive titles from 1990 to 1992. However, the pair would hotly contest the 1993 championship until Wayne Rainey suffered a career-ending crash. Schwantz would go on to win the title that year, but without his sparring partner there, the Texan called time on his career early in 1995, no longer feeling the drive to continue without his great rival on track. 
Rossi leaves contact there between Marquez and Rossi. As they, oh, Marquez is down! When Mark Marquez entered MotoGP, he did so as a 125cc and Moto2 world champion, and many people touted him as the next Valentino Rossi. The Spaniard would make history, becoming the youngest ever MotoGP winner before sailing off to title glory in 2013 and 2014. And it seemed that Rossi and Marquez were close friends, resembling more of a brotherly bond. However, in 2015, the Yamaha was a much improved machine and launched Rossi and Lorenzo into title contention. Tensions rose from incidents in Argentina and Assen as Rossi challenged teammate Jorge Lorenzo for his 10th World Championship and Marquez slipped out of contention with non-scores. Their once acrimonious relationship would take a better turn. Rossi would stir up tensions at the pre-race press conference at the Malaysian GP, suggesting that Marquez was helping Lorenzo to win the title and those tensions would boil over into the race. The two titans of MotoGP came together in the most dramatic fashion. Rossi was given a back of the grid start at the season finale, this ultimately playing its part in the doctor missing out on his landmark 10th title, leaving Rossi feeling he was conspired against. The relationship never recovered, and despite showing signs of improving, their clash at the 2018 Argentina GP put the final nail in the coffin. Their last three seasons on track would never reach those heights again, as Marquez was plagued by injury and Rossi came to the twilight of his career. Rossi and Marquez will be remembered for taking MotoGP to new heights and the rivalry spanned generations.